Well, it's 6.30. We just got into the wildlife management area. So we're close. Got about five miles before we go to the Sleepy Creek. But it is a long dirt road. Made it to the power lines. Start moving a lot quicker right here. But right up there is where we need to go up. So that's going to take us a little while. But I think we'll have lunch up that way. And then uh, we can check everything else out. I haven't found any sheds yet. But we're having a good time. We've probably tracked about... Uh, about a mile, mile and a half so far. No luck, it's about 8.45. We've got a lot of area to cover. As you can uh, see, that's where we gotta go, top of that ridge. I'll see you when we get up there. We made it to the top. We, halfway there. We started right about there. Covered over a thousand feet of elevation in under a mile. We do move pretty quick with, uh, with being on the telephone pole lines, but man, if it's not steep, that's crazy. Over there is the golf course. Not betting. The golf course comes all the way up to this top of this ridge where we're at. It's just about a mile off. I'm betting. I can get some big bucks coming out of there for this season. But we're just sitting here doing some glassing. seen anything yet well we made a huge circle huh? we've probably covered about uh, five miles I would say we definitely dropped back down in elevation uh, according to my GPS we went 800 feet elevated in about a mile so no luck yet I haven't even seen a deer trail yet I mean super old ones like real old but nothing of substance that we can even follow I found a bedding area but and I searched that in a big huge and it was on the south side of the mountain but no luck I don't know if I'm too late coming in at March or <laughs> or they've all been picked clean. I don't know. Shed hunting's not a huge thing around here. But still looks pretty though. Still looks real pretty.
just no luck. But it's my first shed hunt, and I'm just happy to be out here, to tell you the truth. If I find something, great. If I don't, I covered some public land and reconned some areas for hunting this year. I'm fine with that. Well, we did 7.2 miles, big loop, no signs, not a deer trail. I saw a couple of rubs, but no trails going in or out from them. Plus, they seem super old, uh, obviously from last season. But So we got the vehicle packed up. As you can see, that's how you do it in the backcountry. <laughs> Easiest way to do that, just fold the seats down, lay down. We're going to read some books for a little bit and eat some summer sausage. That puppy's already ready for nine nights. Look at her. You ready for nine nights, puppies? Huh? <laughs> well, guys, we made it through the night, but we woke up and it's 16 degrees out here. The, uh, the lake. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, there you go. The lake is frozen over. It's starting to freeze. Very beautiful out here though. But uh, the girlfriend is not having it. So uh, we're gonna head on out. That's all right. It's been, a, it's been a good experience on the very first shed hunt. Didn't find any sheds. But we got to recon a huge area of this land and realized that it is not going to be a good place to hunt this year. So, that being said, it's not like we didn't get anything done. When it warms up, we'll be out here again. I've got a whole other side. All of those mountains up there. All of them mountains. We've got to look for trail and signs of that this year. So stay tuned, guys. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more videos like this. It's starting to become that season. So, all right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm so glad that uh, you came along. It was a learning experience for me, of course. Never been here before, never shed hunted before. Didn't find anything, but had a great time putting a lot of miles, getting ripped for PT and uh, so we'll see you next time thank you guys for coming along thank you for enjoying the video later guys